Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm thrilled to have you here today because we are going to dive into an incredibly exciting project, building a time-lapse camera using the ESP32 cam module. This project is perfect for anyone interested in electronics, photography, or just creating cool gadgets. By the end of this video, you'll have your very own time-lapse camera, and you'll be able to capture stunning time-lapse videos of various scenes like sunsets, cityscapes, or even plant growth. The possibilities are endless. First, let's talk about what a time-lapse camera is and why you might want to build one. Time-lapse photography is a fascinating technique where you capture a series of photos at set intervals and then play them back at a faster speed. This makes slow processes appear much faster when viewed as a video. It's used to capture things like the movement of clouds, the blooming of flowers, or the hustle and bustle of city life. With a time-lapse camera, you can create videos that show the passage of time in a way that's impossible to see with the naked eye. For this project, we will be using the ESP32 CAM module. The ESP32 CAM is a low-cost microcontroller with an integrated camera, making it ideal for this kind of project. It has built-in Wi-Fi, which we can use to control the camera and transfer images wirelessly. The module is compact and versatile, which makes it a favorite among hobbyists and DIY enthusiasts. In addition to the ESP32 CAM, we will need a few other components a micro SD card to store the images, a power supply, and some connecting wires. All of these are relatively inexpensive and easy to find. Let's get started with the hardware setup. First, we need to connect the ESP32 CAM module to the power supply. The module requires a 5V power source, so make sure you have a compatible power supply. Connect the VCC pin of the module to the positive terminal of the power supply and the GND pin to the negative terminal. Next, we need to insert the micro SD card into the slot on the ESP32 CAM module. The micro SD card will store all the images captured by the camera. Once the hardware is set up, it's time to move on to the software. For this project, we will be using the Arduino IDE to program the ESP32 CAM. If you haven't already, you'll need to download and install the Arduino IDE from the official website. After installing the Arduino IDE, you'll need to add the ESP32 board to the board manager. This can be done by going to Feel, Preferences and entering the URL for the ESP32 board in the Additional Board Manager URLs field. Then go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, search for ESP32 and install it. Now that we have the Arduino IDE set up, we can write the code for our time-lapse camera. Don't worry if you are not familiar with coding, I will walk you through each step. The code for this project is available in the description below so you can download it and follow along. In the code we will set up the camera, configure the Wi-Fi and define the intervals at which the photos will be taken. We will also include code to save the images to the microSD card and to control the camera remotely via a web interface. Once we have written the code we need to upload it to the ESP32 cam module. Connect the module to your computer using a USB to serial adapter. In the Arduino IDE, select the correct board and port from the tools menu. Then, click on the upload button to upload the code to the module. If everything is set up correctly, the code should compile and upload without any errors. After uploading the code, it's time to test our time-lapse camera. Power up the ESP32 cam module and open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE. You should see some messages indicating that the camera is starting up and connecting to Wi-Fi. The serial monitor will also display the IP address of the camera. Open a web browser and enter the IP address to access the camera's web interface. From here, you can start and stop the time-lapse, adjust the interval settings, and view the captured images. To demonstrate how to use the time-lapse camera, let's set it up to capture a sunset. Find a suitable location with a good view of the sunset. Mount the ESP32 cam on a tripod or a stable surface and point it towards the horizon. In the web interface, set the interval to 30 seconds. This means the camera will take a photo every 30 seconds. Start the time lapse and let the camera run until the sun has fully set. Once the time lapse is complete, you can download the images from the micro SD card and compile them into a video using video editing software. Now that we have successfully created a time-lapse video, let's discuss some tips and tricks for getting the best results. First, choose your location carefully. 
The best time-lapse videos are captured in places with a lot of movement, such as busy streets, flowing rivers, or changing skies. Second, make sure your camera is stable. Any movement during the time-lapse can result in shaky footage. Third, experiment with different intervals. Shorter intervals will create smoother videos, while longer intervals will show more dramatic changes. Finally, let's talk about editing your time-lapse footage. After capturing your images, you can use video editing software to compile them into a video. There are many free and paid software options available, such as Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Import your images into the software, set the frame rate to 24 or 30 frames per second, and export the video. You can also add music, transitions, and effects to make your time-lapse video more engaging. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project and found it useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more exciting DIY projects. Also, don't forget to check the description for the code and other resources related to this project. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy building and see you in the next video.